Hey everybody, this is Randy the Mobile Traveler. I hope you're doing good because I am finer than a hair in a frog's butt. I tell you, today I'm going to show just a little video on making a box for these little green tanks. Uh, these little things here. I'm going to make a box to hold it on the back of a door for a wave heater. That way, yeah, I'll show you when I get done with it. But I make stuff out of nothing, remember? Uh, waste not, want not, all that kind of good stuff. So I'm making it out of scrap lumber. What I did was I measured the green tank. It's going to fit right inside this box. As you can see, I've already got things cut out. I'm just going to put them together. It's going to sit just like this right inside there. And it's not going to move. And I am going to place a back on it like this. And it's going to get screwed to the back of a door. So hang with me. Let me screw this together and then we'll walk over to the rig. So how many screws does it take? For this <laughs> I don't know all right give me a minute here I know you guys like that noise heck I do all I'm doing there is making the bottom plate and then we will put the screws in now normally I would put pilot holes but this was pretty soft and I don't think it needs any and if it splits then I guess I need some but I think we're golden see no split Maybe it's how you, uh, it's all in how you hold your tongue, right? At least that's what they tell me in fishing. You're not holding your tongue right. Anyway, I'm not splitting the wood. That's all that matters. Okay. And if you don't wrench it down, you're not going to split the wood. All right, there's that part. Next is this back brace. I'm making just basically just a little box is all. And it's going to hold that green tank. Oh, where did I put them other screws at there? Are these it? Those are the long ones. These are the long ones. Well, I will pre-drill for the long ones then. Otherwise, I will split them. <laughs> so pre-drilling is good sometimes. If you got too much real estate, you better pre-drill. And all I'm doing is using scrap 2x4s and scrap plywood that I have sitting around. And that way it's going to save a little bit of muzzle scout. That's, uh, sometimes that's what it's all about in this life. When you're out here living no you know what that's what it's like anywhere i'm a cheapskate i don't care where i'm living i don't care how much money i'm making randy cheap you just ask my kids that and they will agree they'll say oh yeah he cheap i keep trying to teach them the word frugal but no they just look at me and say nah dad you cheap i said yep but, you know, my dad, he grew up in the, he grew up in the dirty 30s. I'm going to lean down here so y'all can see and talk. Because I'm going to, I'm going to spread some wisdom on you. Anyway, he grew up in the 30s to where when he worked, he would pull weeds, pick rock, 10 cent an hour. 
I mean, it, you know, small town, he had to do whatever he had to do to support his family. Because it was just him and my grandma. My uncle was off fighting the war. Uh, so, and he helped out too, you know, he'd send his money back, you know, to his mom, but my grandpa was nowhere to be found. So, dad told me all kinds of stories, and he taught me all kinds of things on how to be frugal. And you know, at the time when he was teaching me, yeah, I thought he was just a cheap ass. Excuse my language. But, we just built this box for about 13 cents. And it's going to hold that green tank, and it's not going to go anywhere. We're going to go fix this to her door. Come with me, I'll turn you back on in a minute. It's a long walk. Okay, people, we are inside the rig that I'm going to place this on. And this is what she has. She has a Wave 3 heater right here. Got it going through the hole here. And then I am going to place this right here. I'm going to affix it to the back side, right in this area right here. And, yeah, with any luck, I can do it left-handed. And it might be straight, and it might not be. Nah, it'll be straight enough. Because that's the way I roll. <laughs> I've done my measurements. I've already pre-drilled these, so makes it a little quicker. Now, you know, what kind of rig is this, Joan? Ford Transit 2017 medium roof. A Ford Transit that's going in, and with any luck. We are going to do a tour of this rig because it's cool. Now, see, look at that little green tank. It sits right in there. It's out of the way. It works good. This is an empty tank. But her hose is going to go on the back side. Over here. It's going to hook up right here. And guess what? Before... She had it hooked up behind this seat over here. And in order to change the tank, she said she'd had to go outside, open the passenger door, and change the tank behind the seat. And now, she doesn't have to do that. She just has to open that door right there. Because it's on the back side. Whoop, whoop. Here, check it out. It's right down there. Fantabulous, if I do say so myself. So, guess what? Y'all can do anything with a little scrap wood, a little ingenuity. And yes, we are in the middle of the desert right now. Boy, I'll tell you what, my baby blues are showing today, aren't they? All right, drive safe, people. Travel on. Remember, love one another if you can, and if you can't, walk away. Thanks for joining me. Hey, if you guys haven't subscribed, please do so. Thanks for watching.